Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So today we're going to go over all the balancing changes coming with Operation Steel Wave and there's some significant stuff coming. So let's start with Amaru. She is getting a major buff. So watch this here. You will notice that when Amaru goes into a window, she no longer breaks the barricade until she actually gets there. You'll also notice that she gains control of her character far quicker. So we're going to do this again. This time there won't be any pauses in between. And just watch how quickly she goes through the window and how quickly she can start shooting. And this is going to scare the hell out of many, many defenders. She becomes controllable very, very quickly as we're coming through the window. Not only that, she can also go through hatches with just her gadget while they're still intact. Again, a major surprise tactic for the defenders and they're going to get scared as soon as she pops up. And this is, you know, significant. And uh, this is going to be quite interesting to see this actually play out on live servers when the new season launches. But that's not all. We've also got some additional changes. So first up, Kali. She has a little bit of a loadout tweak. She now has Clash's SMG as an alternate weapon choice. This is a pretty damn good SMG. Now... It's up to you which one you pick, this or the C750, but I like it more, so I'm liking that. Going to Nomad, we've also had another little loadout buff, or, well, depends what you want here. So people were wanting the option to take the ACOG off the other pistol because it is kind of annoying if you have an ACOG on your primary and then maybe you want to switch to your secondary and have a bit of a closer sight. So instead of taking the ACOG off the other gun, which might just be impossible, they've gone and given her... Uh, Capital's pistol. They've also done a similar thing with Kaid by giving him the French Magnum on his loadout. So he is now going to have that and certainly it's a nice little weapon for him to have if you're not wanting that you know, zoomed in range option. Now that's some of the biggest changes when it comes to loadouts and things like that. There's a few tweaks to gadgets but I'm going to wait until patch notes to make sure they're actually coming in because it's always possible there are actually little bugs in the build so I wanted to make sure you know what we actually get and i do want to mention that no acogs have been changed that was never going to happen it is a fake leak that came out acogs are not changing in this build of the game at least as far as i know you know when we get a surprise in the patch notes but as far as i know none of that is changing doc still has his acog so don't worry about that now let's change direction for a second and talk about cosmetics then we'll go back to some more balance and changes so we've got a whole new cosmetic range and this is weapon attachment skins so you can actually customize your weapon attachments right now now they showed off a bunch of different options that are just plain but they're going to add more as they go on so this is going to become a whole level of new cosmetics and of course i expect to see these probably in like battle passes and stuff at least i'm expecting that to be the case so this is going to be a whole new range of cosmetic items that are going to be a pickup and it'll be interesting to see what they do i do like the fact you can just go with some of the nice you know standard colors like tan and gray and black and stuff like that so that i can really customize my weapon to how i want it to look with the skin that i've got on it so that's really good and then also we've got the Echo Elite who's going to be coming with the new season. Of course we've got the Zofia Elite that leaked out beforehand. So I'm kind of expecting that might actually drop before the new season launches. We'll have to wait and see. But the new season is going to come with the Echo Elite. And certainly the trailer's a bit all over the place. But I do love the look of it and of course it makes them look like a ninja. So I've got no real problems with that at all. So yeah, Echo Elite will be coming with Steel Wave. But moving back to loadouts, we've got a major change which is the proximity alarm. So this was basically officially in the canon of the game like over a year ago when it was on Harry's boards in a little teaser. So it's been like hyped well before that as well because it was leaked before that too so this is finally making it into the game and these are the operators who are going to be able to use the proximity alarm they are castle rook chanka cav mira goyu wamai and oryx so this is an interesting gadget because i'm not sure how good it's going to be yet but here is two examples one of bikini killing me using the proximity alarm and one of me killing bikini trying to trick me with the proximity alarm so it kind of shows both sides of how potentially powerful this thing could be if used correctly
Now the gadget itself is pretty simple, it is line of sight based so obviously it needs to see the attacker up here for its little alarm to go off and the beeping alarm lets you know that the attacker is there so there's really good options for like setting it up with say you could have a deployable shield, then a proximity alarm and then say a nitro cell or something like that maybe underneath the floor so they can't hear it so they leap over the deployable shield the proximity sensor gets set off and then of course you just hit the nitro cell button and goodbye attacker. So there's a lot of potential for it and it's going to be definitely a good addition to the game. Now let's move on to changes to ranked. So first of all here's the charms you're going to get at the end of the steel wave season. Let me know what you think of these. They're certainly going with a different aesthetic with this one for sure. Now the other thing is the actual ranks. So normally we have the ranks split up into like the European region, the American region and overall there's quite a few different regions and the main thing is that in every region if you play you get a different rank for each region. That is going away. We're now going to have a unified rank. So if you play in Europe and then you jump over to the North American servers you're going to have exactly the same rank no matter where you are playing. This is to help stop people kind of region jumping in order to like de-rank in a different region to maybe get like easier games and stuff like that. And you know, all those other things. They're also changing champions, so it's gonna be harder to get up there. And of course also because it's now a unified rank throughout the entire world, it means getting champion is actually gonna be more difficult. Also they've made it so that you need to play a specific amount of games to get the champion. So that say for instance, a new player comes in who's like cheating with an aimbot or something like that, can't just go all the way up to champion rank. They will actually get physically stopped before they get there because they've just not played enough games. This is to try and keep the champions rank basically clean of cheaters entirely so that the people up there are legitimately you know the champions of Rainbow Six Siege. Also here is the ranked playlist as well for maps. So we've got Oregon, Clubhouse, Consulate, Bank, Canal, Chalet, Cafe Dusky, Border, Coastline, Theme Park, Villa and Outback. Now of course stuff like that's always subject to change so don't take that entirely for sure but we'll see. Now I'm going to end on the house map. So of course this is getting reworked for the casual playlist only and it's a fun map. I quite enjoyed it. Kind of missed some of the aspects of old house which always happens with the reworks but overall this was a really nice experience to play this new map and I think people will probably enjoy it quite a lot but we'll wait and see for that. So first of all I'm going to just leave you with a single easter egg. So there's a few different easter eggs on the map but this is the one I thought was the nicest which is the old house is actually inside the new house and it's a little kind of doll house in one of the kind of girls rooms so I thought it was really nice to see the old house still kind of represented. But I'm going to leave you with a tour of the new map to let you guys see what it's all about and hopefully it'll give you a good idea of how the kind of layout is and you know it's got obviously some familiarity parts but stuff is also very different as well. Anyway guys thank you very much for watching if you haven't already seen my videos on the new operators on the core Ross channel go check them out and thank you very much for watching.
hostage found. if you remain in this area. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. You have entered an enemy-controlled area. Leave now. Your location has been compromised. And here is the new animation for the main menu. 